we're here at the new, really new, newly remodeled Acorns and Threads. Let's go in.
Beach Roadies. So as you saw, I made a trip to the newly expanded Acorns and Threads and no words can describe how extraordinary the shop looks. It was expanded by 600 square feet, I think, but it feels like like on HGTV, this would be an upgrade house. Yes, it was beautiful. Uh, and part of it was it got more windows, um, things were rearranged, more spread out, and I couldn't even believe it that uh, everything in there was crammed in the shop before, but now because it's wide open, it was like seeing every, things that I never saw before were in full view. <clears throat> like I had no idea that Janine had such an extensive um, collection of Krynic thread. I, who knew? Who knew? And it was, um, it was so great. And I met up with Audrey, Stitchy Witch 42, and um, yeah, be sure, be sure you watch her floss tube when she talks about the pointy parts. Yeah, that, that is, um, that's something that we all probably need to know about. So um, be sure you watch watch her but we shopped and um, <coughs> I, I, can't, I, I can't even begin to tell you how fun it was to shop it was so sunny outside and it was bright inside and just everything displayed extraordinarily well <coughs> excuse me I'm talking so much I'm choking myself So I will um, now show you what I purchased. <laughs> well, first of all, let me just say um, that when you take your acorns and thread bag, you get five, I think it's 5% off your total, and then I had uh, a filled card, which you get a punch card, and uh, my punch card stays there and then it gets punched. And so there was a filled punch card. And then there was my coupon book, which you all need to pay attention to this because the coupon book, I think it's released like in September, and you definitely want to be on on that um, you know you want to purchase that coupon book uh, but today was the mystery discount um, month coupon and so you pick out a, a, a like a poker chip and whatever color it is is the discount you got so on top of all the discounts I already had I had 25% off <laughs> the girls were saying my gosh we're gonna have to pay you to shop here and again I am humbled by your generosity and a big thank you to um, Pamela you know who you are Pamela because when I got there I got a gift card. A gift card was waiting for me for my happy half birthday. Oh, I totally forgot about my happy half birthday. You know, COVID makes you forget so much. I totally forgot about my happy half birthday, but Pamela didn't. Thank you so much. I am truly humbled by your generosity, and it was so fun to show up and be shopping away and then find out there was a gift card waiting for me. You guys, you guys. So now, here's the reveal. So my intention when I went 
was not to buy anything. <laughs> I can hear you all laughing. You're laughing, laughing. I can hear you all laughing. And so I took this pattern that I had. I already had this chart, Little House Needleworks, and it was the Plant Kindness. And I thought, what a perfect chart to start um, stitching on when everything's starting to bloom and blossom and I'm planting vegetables in my vegetable garden. So I, I took this and the only thing I was going to buy was the fabric. Don't tell anybody. That's not what happened. So <clears throat> when I looked for the fabric, I found this lovely, um, let's see, the fabric that was called for was a 28 count country French cafe mocha linen. <coughs> and I don't know, I'm kind of liking the, I, I've been rocking the Lugana lately. And so I looked in the 25 count and Janine says, just pick anything in the 25 count, or Lori said, pick anything in the 25 count that's brown. So I found this uh, Vintage Country Mocha Lugana, 25 count, and isn't it gorgeous? Now this, this little piece is only 83 by 10, 83 by 109. But I loved this fabric so much that I uh, bought the big chunk. The big chunk. So I have a big chunk of it. And then being of a practical nature, you know, I feel better about myself when I, um, when I buy something practical because it just makes me... Um, feel like I'm not being extravagant, that I'm buying practical things, and so I bought my floss away bags. I have enough floss away bags now to last me a lifetime, I think, and I bought some needles. So see, I was bringing practical, it's kind of like buying uh, toothpaste. <laughs> you know, when you buy something practical instead of the $50 eye cream. <laughs> As long as you buy in the toothpaste, then you feel better about yourself. Yeah. But then, what can I say? I, um, you remember the chart that I, uh, um, showed you before, uh, that I'm going to stitch in, in um, for our dear departed Enzo. And it's a dog's declaration by ink circles. Well, Janine had all the threads packaged up, all the Valdani's in a in a ink circle dog declaration kit. And I was so overwhelmed at the time I saw it at the attic that I bought the chart at the attic, but I was going, Valdani thread, what have I heard about that? So then I talked to the girls about the Valdani thread. And it was just all oh, so lovely, lovely, lovely. So I said, well, it's all packaged together. And, um, and then I found some linen, Edinburgh linen, 36 count, which I think it called for 35 or 36 count, antique white in the right, um, piece, size piece, and so now I have everything to start the dog declaration. In the pursuit of squirrels. Oh yeah, you think I would have... Oh. This heart and hand chart, and then they had a little bag all kitted up with it that had the stuff in it to finish it off with. The the pin, the fabric, the rickrack was all in this cute little stamped canvas bag that was stamped with the little B on there. And um, 
This one is Stay Bumble. Don't you love that? Instead of Stay Humble. Stay Bumble. Work hard and stay bumble. Is that not cute? So I am going to be making that. Gosh, it's cute. I wonder what count it takes. 36 count R and R linen. Winter's brew. I think I have some winter's brew. And I just I had to buy this. I mean, you know when you see a chart and it makes you laugh out loud and then you yell across the shop, Audrey, come look at this. This is a crack up. Yeah. If that occurs, you know that you need to buy it because in this existence that we are living in, anything that can crack you up, you need to buy. So this was a Stacy Nash Primitive, and it's a um, scissor book. It's a scissor and needle book, but look at this. Can you see that? I'll cut you. I'll cut you. It <laughs> just totally cracked me up. It totally cracked me up. So, yeah, I am doing that. There's just no two ways about it. What a hoot. I can't wait to start this one. I'm going to be laughing through the whole thing. And then I dropped off my, um, the, ooh, come on brain. Um, let's see, I dropped off, I was a cross-stitcher before cross-stitching was cool. Uh, and uh, to get framed. And I decided to just take it to Acorns and Threads and have them frame it because really, a cross stitch shop should know how to frame cross stitch, right? And I've just recently heard so many nightmare stories about some of the big craft stores um, not knowing quite how to cro uh, frame cross stitch and so then it just doesn't look that right and you know when you work so hard on something you know and there's a lot of my cross stitch that I do my own because it's just it's seasonal you know but when I want something that's gonna hang up year-round and I want it to look pretty I um, I just want it professionally done so I'll show you now, I won't give you an update on my whips, but I will tell you this. A thread a day is an amazing concept. Amazing concept. And I think it was stitching between the lines. Yeah. So, this is what I've been doing on the trees, and I've added a third one if you can believe it. So on the trees, on the Long Dog Pandemic, and on G's Birthday Stitch. Those three projects, a thread a day. And what makes the difference for me is that I'm not just doing a thread a day. That once I'm done with one thread, I thread the needle and I've anchored it in the first stitch. So the next day, all I do is I'm stitching. You know, I don't even have to thread the needle. It's all ready to go. It's made a huge difference. And it's fun to see, even though it's microscopic, and don't tell me you're cutting your thread six inches either. No, you cut your thread like you would normally cut it, and that's your thread of the day. But it's, it's an empowering feeling. And, it, and 
you just feel empowered when it comes to your cross stitch. So there you go. That thread a day makes a difference. So now I have three projects that all I have to do is one thread a day. And it's only on the days that I'm cross stitching. If there is, uh, like if I'm so busy that there's no stitching going on, I don't, I don't worry about it. Or if I'm quilting, like it's a day full of quilting and I haven't touched cross stitch, I don't worry about it. But um, on my days where I'm going to cross stitch something, that before I do anything, I'll do a thread a day on those three projects. So there you go. I am so smug. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. I hope you make it to Acorns and Threads. It is beyond fabulous. I'm so excited about the June Zoom um, meetup. And someday we're going to have stitchy tables in Acorns and Threads again. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Well, you guys all take care, and thanks for hanging out. Bye.